In our last video, we showed how to graph a quadratic equation when it is in standard form. In standard form, there are no parentheses. And notice that we have some x to the second power. And then we can have some other terms as well. Most of the time, a quadratic and standard term will have three terms, but we could have a zero for b and we wouldn't see that. Or we could have a zero for c and we wouldn't see that. But standard form is with no parentheses. Now we're going to look at a quadratic in vertex form. And vertex form has parentheses. So just like before, we need to find the center of the uh, quadratic. We need to find the axis of symmetry. And here's how you do it when we have vertex form, when we have parentheses. To find the center, we're going to take what's in parentheses and set that equal to 0 and solve for x. So the thing that's in parentheses here is x plus 1. Now use inverse operations. So subtract one from both sides and get that x equals negative one. That's where the center of our quadratic is going to be. Okay, so now Let's think about the x values that we would like to use because negative one is going to be in the middle. So we want to consider negative two, negative three. We also want to consider zero and one. All right, so now let's use order of operations. Remember, start with what's in parentheses, then do the exponent. So negative three plus one is negative two. Negative two raised to the second power is negative two times negative two, which is positive four. So this is two times four plus two. Again, this is because negative three plus one is negative two. Then negative two raised to the second power is negative two times negative two, which gives us positive four. Then we still have the two on the outside and then we'll still, oh, this was wrong. Subtract two. So now let's finish that up. We have two times four is eight. Eight minus two is six. Let's go again. Negative two plus one is negative one. Negative one raised to the second power. Negative one times negative one is positive one. Now two times one is two, two minus two is zero and go again. Negative one plus one is zero, zero to the second power is zero times zero. So that's zero. We have two times zero, then minus two. Two times zero is zero, zero minus two is negative two. Zero plus one is one. One to the second power is one times one, which is one. So we have two times one, then minus two. Two times one is two. Two minus two is zero. One plus one is two. Two raised to the second power is two times two, which is four. Now we'll say two times four is eight and eight minus two is six. Let's plot the points. At x equal negative three, y equals six. At x equal negative two, y equals zero. At x equal negative one, y equal negative two. At x equal zero, y equal zero. 
and at x equal one, y equals six. And you've done it, nice job. So remember to find the center, set the thing in parentheses equal to zero and solve for X. That'll tell you what your center X value should be. Then plug in the X values around that center. When you're plugging in your X values and evaluating, remember order of operations. So do what's in parentheses first, then do the exponent, then multiply, then subtract two. The last thing that I want to show you is if you're using a calculator to do this, make sure you use parentheses. So let's say you're doing this negative three plus one. Negative three plus one is going to be negative two. If you then say, I'm gonna take that negative two and raise it to the second power, watch this. Negative two raised to the second power. This answer should be positive four because negative times negative is positive, but watch what happens. The calculator gives you negative four. In order to use an exponent with a negative number as the base, you need to make sure that you put that base in parentheses. So if I put negative two in parentheses and then raise it to the second power, the calculator knows that I mean negative two times negative two, which gives me the positive four that I want from here. That's this positive four. The other thing you can do is you could put the whole line into the calculator at the same time. So let's do this line, two parentheses, negative three plus one, close parentheses, raised to the second power, minus two. So this answer needs to come out as six. Boom. Great job.